You're watching Visitor's Book. I'm your host, Tara Mustafa, and today I'm in conversation with South Korean ambassador, Sir Sang Pyo. So, Excellency, first of all, thank you so much for giving us time. I would like to start with, uh, you have been here in Pakistan for six months now. How is your experience in the country so far? Uh, you know, uh, before I came here, I think that uh, this area uh, a little uh, uh, security wise uh, very important and some uh, I had problems so people they are getting nervous but when I arrived here uh, they are not they are very peaceful and they are very kind and generous so mm -hmm. I was very uh, happy to uh, get connected with the Pakistani people here and meet them and have a time there with them so Really, I'm enjoying my life here. That's so interesting to know. Yeah. So, Excellency, pandemic has affected the world mm -hmm. and uh, due to which certain mm -hmm. activities mm -hmm. are put on hold. Mm -hmm. How much pandemic has affected your work and life here? So, uh, same that, uh, you know, uh, uh, Korea uh, has the, uh, more than 160 overseas missions of the world. All right. Most of them, due to the COVID-19, they cannot do their work properly. So I thought that before I came, I should be in my office and no meeting, no works, but actually not. Uh, in the last six months, I should do a lot of things because that there are huge investment from Korea and huge business between Korea and Pakistan. And there are people to people exchange and meetings. So I was very busy in six months yes, i never All knew right. that so uh, but uh, there is uh, there is uh, some project uh, which uh, is right now uh, put on hold due to the covid 19 one of my uh, main um, focus during my time here uh, bringing more uh, korean um, tourists here All especially right. for the uh, buddhist uh, pilgrimage uh, tourist so but uh, due to the covid 19 korean um, the Buddhist uh, huge sector, they are right now are waiting for that uh, ending of the COVID-19. So some of our project uh, are right now put on hold due to the COVID-19. All right. So Excellency, mm -hmm. uh, from an outsider's perspective, mm -hmm. how do you see that Pakistan has coped up with the situation? Uh, I have a good uh, connection with the uh, world, uh, world Health Organization, Pakistan, WHO here. We have uh, some project together here. You know, uh, the uh, evaluation of the uh, WHO office uh, here, uh, the Pakistani government is doing very well. And right. uh, uh, even though that uh, subcontinent, there are serious, uh, uh, serious problem due to the COVID-19, only this country is doing well. Due to the uh, uh, thanks to the government, well managed the uh, situation. So I was heard that, and actually uh, in my uh, embassy, since the uh, outbreak of the COVID-19, no uh, COVID positive cases here. So, Excellency, how is the situation in South Korea right now? In the initial uh, stage of uh, COVID-19, Korean government are doing well because we have a good uh, system of the. Uh, uh, health uh, protection authorities and something like that. But, uh, you know, uh, like now strong COVID-19 virus comes, uh, like uh, Delta variant, uh, yeah. something like that. So after third wave of the COVID-19 pandemic, like now Korean you know, positive cases uh, is growing, so we are cautious on that, but still uh, we are doing well, but uh, right now, the world should uh, keep the, uh, our uh, COVID-19 quarantine, all that uh, measures, SOPs, uh, we should keep it well. So Korea is uh, in that kind of a situation. Mm. So Excellency, mm. as you mentioned, that the mm. back home government mm. is taking necessary measures. Mm. How often do the ambassadors mm -hmm. get time to mm. visit their home? Uh, you know, uh, since the uh, outbreak of the uh, COVID-19, uh, there are no uh, meeting uh, among the uh, heads of uh, overseas missions uh, in Korea. There are uh, uh, every year uh, we have uh, heads of uh, 
government uh, uh, head of uh, overseas missions uh, meeting. But uh, right now, um, uh, we held that uh, meeting of heads of overseas mission, but uh, in virtually, so, <laughs> in, so uh, we don't have uh, uh, we don't have uh, opportunity to visit Korea right now. All but, right. Uh, soon um, uh, we get vaccinated all, so uh, soon we will uh, open again. The, uh, allow that the ambassadors can visit uh, Korea. So but I'm waiting for that time. All right. So Excellency, where mm. are you from in South Korea and what does your home region look like? You know, uh, I come from the Seoul. Uh, the, right. Seoul is the capital of the uh, South Korea. Uh, one third of the population lives in Seoul. So uh, surely uh, I'm also uh, comes from Seoul. And the Seoul is, uh, Korea is uh, not so uh, different from Pakistan. Right. I mean that culturally or that uh, uh, people's uh, uh, behavior mm -hmm. because uh, we are all the Asian people. But uh, the difference is uh, uh, Korea uh, uh, more actively adapt, uh, receive that uh, Western cultures. So more uh, looks like uh, uh, Western style All right. <laughs> uh, society, but uh, basically we are uh, Asian people, so I feel that uh, Seoul is uh, uh, Seoul resembled a lot uh, to uh, Pakistan and Islam, Islamabad. So, Excellency, mm -hmm. I would like to ask: Is your family here with you, and how are they liking the country? So, my wife uh, is also busy, like me. Uh, as I told you, that uh, Pakistan people are very kind and very generous, so uh, already my wife uh, has many friends, in, in pa many Pakistani friends, All right. so she's busy to meet them and go together somewhere, mm -hmm. and they uh, introduce that the Pakistani things, the cultures, uh, and codings, so she also is, bu uh, is busy in Islamabad, and she's also enjoying that uh, whole life here. Excellency, would you say that South Korea is a well-known country here in Pakistan? Yeah, I was surprised whenever uh, I met the uh, Pakistani uh, people. Uh, they talk about the Gear Sportage, Samsung mobile phone, and even the, you maybe heard about the BTS. A uh, couple of days ago, I was uh, uh, invited to some um, Pakistani uh, uh, people's event there. Some of the uh, uh, invitee asked me, uh, told me that uh, their children likes uh, BTS. So yeah, BTS, you know that the Korean boy band, uh, musical boy band. So I didn't know that uh, uh, BTS is also well known to Pakistani young people. So uh, you know, basically all the people they knew Korea as the as a uh, country which. Uh, we have, uh, which has uh, rapidly e e developed its economy, but uh, for the uh, young people, they know uh, in different ways. But I found that the uh, Pakistani people uh, know well uh, about Korean. South Korea. Yeah, about so, Korea. Excellency, uh, what kind of image do South Koreans have about Pakistan as a country? Uh, you mean that uh, South Korea is an image to Pakistan? Yeah. Uh, as, you, as I told uh, you that. Uh, uh, Pak uh, Korea is uh, seen to uh, Pakistani people, uh, rapidly developed country, from the poor country, I mean the least developed country, even though that in 1960s, Korea uh, uh, situation was worse than the, uh, uh, Pakistan. All right. So uh, Pakistan uh, gave that the humanitarian assistance to us, but uh, suddenly uh, a Korean economy rise up to the uh, world class. That's, that's the, the image that for the uh, uh, many Korean, uh, many Pakistani government officials and businessmen uh, think uh, about that South Korea. All right. So, what makes an, a Pakistan an important country for South Korea? Oh, so uh, Pakistan is uh, basically, a, uh, <coughs> as you know, that uh, Pakistan is a home to the. Uh, uh, our uh, Buddhism. Yeah. So, uh, uh, one third of uh, Korean population are Buddhist. 
So uh, they are uh, eager to uh, visit uh, this country. Uh, and this one part. Second part is that uh, in the middle of your country, your country is home to the Indus civilization. Yes. All the Koreans learn that the uh, Indus civilization as one of the three major uh, world uh, civilization. So uh, it famous to Korea. And even right now, uh, uh, Pakistani e economy e is very strong, a uh, huge potential for the, our uh, business people. So uh, uh, for the Korean businessmen, uh, um, Pakistan is uh, 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 some um, country has uh, many potential for business. All right. As you said, like uh, back home, people are very much impressed by the Pakistanis as they have like uh, roots to the industrial Indus Valley civilization. Mm -hmm. I would like to know, like uh, when you got to know that you will be posted here in Pakistan, mm -hmm. what was the impression of the country in your mind? So uh, I thought that uh, uh, first of all, I was very honored to uh, uh, appoint the as ambassador to here. And second impression, I would be busy, very busy. Actually, I'm very busy. <laughs> so uh, for, uh, until now, I cannot have time to visit my personal uh, uh, travel to this country. All right. I plan to go to uh, Gilgit and Hunja uh, in the end of the July. Yeah. But I hope to do my keep my uh, promise to do uh, my personal tra uh, uh, travel to there, but. Uh, I don't know that uh, in the uh, in the end of the July, what happened to me in the case <laughs> I should cancel. So uh, that's the, uh, my uh, impression and my first impression uh, right now make it uh, real. So this, that was the, my first what impression. What was the biggest surprise about the country so far since you have spent a couple of months here in Pakistan? There are many things. One is just one. one Mm, I was surprised that uh, the Pakistani people normally they speak three languages. All right. You know, English, Urdu, and their uh, own uh, their uh, uh, tribal language, their uh, uh, their original language. So uh, recently I visited uh, Tokam, uh, the border of uh, between yeah. Afghanistan and and Pakistan. And I see that uh, some mark uh, it says uh, welcome to Pakistan and then two languages. I know that the uh, one language because I started okay. to learn the Urdu, so it, that might be the one language Urdu, but I don't know which one language should I ask them to what language in the middle. They say Pashtun language, so okay. they should know that the three languages also. <laughs> that was my uh, uh, one of the surprises, but there are many uh, surprises uh, here, so uh, you know. Uh, weather condition is better All right. than I thought and um, people are very uh, active some people working very hard uh, some people uh, more work than the Korean people so there are uh, many things that I surprised uh, uh, after I arrived here. All right, that's so interesting mm. to know about that. Excellency, in mm. your initial days of student life, have you ever thought that you will end up as a diplomat? Oh, you know, my major is uh, communication, so uh, I plan to be a, a journalist uh, or that uh, oh, wow. TV program makers, producers. All right. Uh, but suddenly, uh, when I uh, 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 study in the university, communication skill uh, can apply to that uh, diplomat job. Okay. Diplomat, uh, diplomatic job is to. Uh, persuade our uh, position to uh, other country and uh, we should well understand from that other country's position so get make it some um, synergy so uh, I changed my mind to be a, a diplomat so uh, right now I'm um, using a lot of my e e learning studies in my days of the university so I'm very happy to be a, a diplomat all right. So, how much interesting it is to travel around the world as a diplomat? Oh, I was focused uh, uh, in my ministry. I was focused on that the multilateral issues. So, All right. I, I, I attended uh, many meetings uh, everywhere in the world. So, from the North Pole to uh, not exactly South Pole, but uh, anyway, that uh, all over the world. So. 
I found that the whole country, all region, have their uh, own um, logics, own lives, own traditionals. So a uh, diplomat, diplomat uh, job is making their all different, uh, all uh, original uh, things get harmonized and make a synergy. So uh, uh, my uh, uh, travel to uh, uh, over the world uh, right. that makes uh, me more uh, competitive and more make me more happy life. <laughs> life so. All right. As you mentioned that your major is in communication. Mm. So what sparked this interest in you to pursue your diplomatic career? So as I uh, already told you that uh, uh, I can be the uh, journalist, I can be the uh, TV program makers, but uh, I thought that uh, what would be the, my uh, main contribution to the, my country, my society, so I uh, 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 think of a uh, sort of a sort of a think of a, so uh, I choose that uh, uh, diplomatic job as All my right. career. So. so Excellency, where were you posted before Pakistan and uh, which is your most favorite posting so far? I was lucky to be posted uh, normally two times in the United States, All right. two times in Paris, so uh, I should uh, uh, be posted uh, in hard post, hard country, that was the, uh, in Gabon, in African country. Uh, so uh, every my uh, posting, my uh, job in overseas mission uh, was very uh, uh, enjoyable, enjoyable. But uh, uh, the, my recent uh, post in the uh, Korean permanent delegation to the United Nations, it was from 2014 to 16. And All right. you remember that the 2015, the UN agreed on that the Sustainable Development Goal and the uh, Paris uh, Climate Change Agreement. I was the uh, leading um, negotiator on two uh, agreements. So okay. I remember that uh, I have a good memory. We successfully uh, agreed on the two major uh, international agreements. That was my Good Excellency, memory. since I was going through your CV, you have a very interesting and fascinating mm -hmm. diplomatic career mm -hmm. and you were awarded with the two achievement awards. So, mm. how, what was it about? Uh, that's the, uh, also uh, uh, my uh, multilateral uh, uh, negotiation or multilateral uh, uh, diplomacy award. One is that uh, ASEAN Europe uh, summit. Uh, we right. uh, co Korea hold in Seoul. So I successfully successfully uh, organized that uh, meeting. The canon in Korea is one of the G20 country. Oh wow! So uh, uh, we uh, in 2010 we uh, hold we held uh, the G20 summit in Seoul. So I was the one the one who uh, organized that the meeting. So I got the award for the successful uh, su success of the meeting so All right. two times i get awards okay mm. now it's time to take a short break i'm in conversation with south korean ambassador sir sanpyo stay with us we'll be right back mm. welcome back i'm in conversation with south korean ambassador sir sanpyo so let's see uh, what I'm going to ask next. Pakistan and South Korea have strong ties when it comes to the bilateral and cultural exchange. What are the current policies is South Korean embassy working on to strengthen the bilateral ties? Uh, right now, uh, uh, main focus uh, put on the, uh, uh, you know, that uh, investment, Korean's uh, investment to the hydropower plant in this country. Uh, last uh, month, I mean that uh, June, uh, two uh, Korean hydropower project uh, were uh, uh, approved uh, by the Kaiba uh, Paktunkwa uh, provincial government, uh, which amount to 1.5 billion US dollar. Uh, so uh, right now, two projects will be uh, carried out in the case that uh, Korean um, hydropower uh, companies can contribute to the. Uh, generation of electric set of this country. This is the one. All there right. are many things. I just let me tell you just one thing, right? Okay. Uh, so, Excellency, um, 
South Korea is investing in the automobile sector of Pakistan. Mm -hmm. Do you think it will help in stabilizing the automobile sector in Pakistan? Yeah, uh, uh, listen, uh, I thought that, that, that three years, uh, three days ago, uh, I was, uh, uh, I attended a, a virtual uh, ceremony of a, a Korea knowledge sharing program All right. um, with Pakistan. Mm -hmm. uh, that subject uh, was the, uh, making um, Pakistani uh, companies uh, integrated into the uh, global uh, value chain okay. um, in um, automobile uh, sectors. Yeah. Uh, you know that right now, uh, Korean brand uh, vehicle uh, is uh, are, are produced uh, in some factory here, Kia Sportage and Hyundai cars. Uh, we only, you know, produce that uh, Korean brand car is not enough to make that uh, Pakistani automobile industry is strong. So uh, we have a Korean knowledge sharing program. So uh, I just knew that uh, we already uh, have that project with uh, Pakistani small Sumida, small medium and small medium enterprise uh, right. uh, association so we had a good uh, knowledge sharing um, program um, result to make so i think that uh, uh, with that uh, cooperation i mean that the government uh, cooperation and uh, business to business com cooperation i think korea can um, contribute to that uh, making that the pakistani automobile industry more strong and more stable all right, that's really interesting. Uh, Excellency, power generation, mm -hmm. a couple of uh, mm -hmm. South Korean power generation mm -hmm. companies are investing mm -hmm. in Pakistan. Should we expect more uh, South Korean companies to invest? Yeah, I uh, already uh, talked about the two new projects uh, for hydropower plant uh, project here. Uh, I found that uh, uh, you know, there are huge uh, opportunity uh, to invest uh, uh, hydropower plant uh, project, even that uh, solar uh, power uh, plant yeah. here, but only in two countries, I mean that uh, Korea and China uh, invest, are uh, investing to uh, uh, the power generation sector here. Uh, so uh, I uh, persuade the Korean um, power generation um, companies, come only, you know, uh, if we wait uh, long, we will lose the uh, business opportunity. Yeah. So I hope that uh, more uh, Korean um, power uh, generation company uh, mm -hmm. do invest here. So that's my hope. Uh, Excellency, as you said already, that South Korea mm -hmm. is working on multiple policies. Mm -hmm. So there is a vast diaspora mm -hmm. of Pakistani communities settled in South Korea. Mm -hmm. What do you think, are there enough job opportunities for the Pakistani community there? Uh, you know, uh, Pakistani uh, uh, skilled workers are well known to the uh, world. Even in Korea, uh, Pakistani work, uh, workers are welcomed by the old uh, Korean companies. So recently, uh, Pakistani uh, skilled workers entering um, to Korea ha have, uh, has increased a lot, but due to the COVID-19 from since last year, it, uh, the, uh, entering the, the new uh, Pakistani skilled worker to be to Korea is uh, right now put on hold, but uh, uh, when the, uh, once the uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic ends, I think All the right. huge Pakistani skilled worker uh, will enter the uh, Korea and do uh, contribute to Korean business uh, industry. So that makes that uh, uh, relation between two countries more strong, more, uh, more uh, close, I guess. All right. So, Excellency, Pakistan is working on its green initiative project mm -hmm. to combat the climate mm -hmm. change. What policies is your country adopting? Uh, my uh, uh, current uh, president is very keen on uh, counter uh, climate change and environment uh, protection. So uh, in May, Korea uh, hosted the second 
people summit. People summit is about that uh, counter uh, climate change and um, environmental All protection. Right. So in the case that uh, it was held virtually, uh, so uh, more than 40 head of state and government uh, attend that uh, summit. And the climate change minister here, Malik, he, he gave us that uh, his uh, uh, recorded uh, video messages. So in that way, he, two countries he, he collaborate uh, each other. And surely he, there are many Korean policy on that uh, 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 climate, counter climate change and then uh, protecting environment. Uh, one I uh, I mentioned only one mentioned recently. Government announced that uh, no subsidies, uh, no uh, financial support uh, oh. to export uh, coal-based power generating plant. All right. Uh, so uh, that's the. Uh, there are many uh, policies from the uh, Korean government uh, right now. Recent one is. Uh, I think two months ago, government announced that policy. So. Now, if I talk about China-Pakistan Economic Corridor project, the countries in, uh, within the region are investing in this project. What is the current stance of the Korean government on this? Uh, you know, uh, uh, CPEC uh, would be uh, very helpful to uh, upgrade the Pakistani uh, infrastructure here, but uh, on condition that how uh, the, this government, how the uh, Pakistani business, business, businessmen um, profit that the CPEC uh, project. Uh, that's the uh, one point. Uh, to the uh, Korean businessmen, uh, it's up to them to uh, 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 engage or that invest the CPEC uh, uh, project. Uh, maybe a CPEC project going well. Many Korean um, companies would like to join that. Uh, uh, join that the project, so All right. it's up to that uh, uh, the uh, well uh, process of the CPEC uh, CPEC uh, project. I think that uh, uh, to the uh, your government, the CPEC is uh, one of the big uh, opportunity. In one of your recent interviews, mm. you have mm. mentioned that mm. your prime mm. focus to enhance the bilateral mm. and cultural mm. ties between the mm. two countries. Mm. So, what is the current mm. policy you're working on? Uh, you know, uh, as I told that the most uh, uh, important thing is that uh, uh, we do co-work uh, on the uh, Buddhist uh, cultural heritage. So right now, uh, uh, both uh, cultural heritage authorities uh, between two countries, they are uh, on the way to conclude the MOU. Uh, that the amount, that the four million US dollar from Korea to protect protect, uh, preserve that uh, Gandhara Buddhist uh, culture and Buddhist heritage and also promote yeah. for tourism. So that's the one of the biggest one. And the other one is, as I told you, that uh, right now uh, musical and dancing culture are yeah. very similar <laughs> between two countries. So uh, maybe we can promote that uh, dancing culture and musical culture between two countries. Maybe I can host uh, some kind of event uh, for that. All right, mm -hmm. looking forward to that. Yeah. Excellency, uh, you did visit um, Peshawar and Lahore recently. Mm -hmm. What impression did you get for, about the two cities? Uh, you know, uh, Peshawar and Lahore are, are very famous uh, uh, and um, um, historical uh, cities. So I can feel that uh, that kind of uh, mood and sense. So especially in Lahore, a very a, a huge a country in terms of uh, uh, cultural and uh, historical uh, aspect and uh, historical importances. In the case that uh, two uh, uh, cities, uh, I think that uh, I like that. Uh, but I uh, more like uh, Lahore. Uh, okay. I can feel the uh, people's people uh, people's life there. There are crowded people uh, in Lahore. When I move to uh, uh, downtown in Lahore, it takes uh, it took uh, lots of time. To, I can see that the people are uh, standing and they are talking and they are doing something. But Peshawar. Uh, I don't know that uh, not much uh, populated, but in, when I was in Peshawar, uh, without the security, I uh, 
uh, in the morning, I went to the, the marketplace by myself. Yeah. It was a good memory. I took that uh, laksha, laksha, and that uh, you wow. know, uh, uh, bullet, uh, bullet printed, bullet uh, protection car. I just in, in the morning, I I went out by myself. <laughs> I take two, three, two, two hours, but it was very good memory to uh, walking around by myself at the, in the marketplace. So like for how, uh, I mean, you have been here for six months now. Mm. How much have you managed to see the country? Yeah, uh, as I told you that uh, uh, this country is uh, uh, very, uh, uh, has the huge potential for the foreigners, for the, uh, for the, uh, even that uh, Pakistani people. Uh, so uh, I would like to do uh, my up more quickly, more uh, correctly. So uh, I uh, would like uh, to uh, keep uh, my uh, my work in in very good way. And uh, uh, in another time, I also would like to spend my personal life here. Uh, right. There are many chances to go to where. Uh, there are many is uh, where to go, but I'm right now waiting for the, my personal time, uh, All right. first time, free time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Excellency Tourism mm -hmm. is something now the Pakistani government mm -hmm. is hoping to focus on. Mm -hmm. Have been there many tourists from South Korea in the past years? Uh, you know, uh, before the uh, pandemic, uh, even though uh, that number are not huge, uh, there are uh, many, uh, I think the more than 1,000 uh, Korean tourists uh, came to this country, but uh, that number is not uh, so huge. So uh, uh, given that uh, potential of the tourism here, I would like to I, uh, invite more Korean tourists here, and they will like and enjoy the, the, their, uh, uh, like their uh, visit here. So that's my plan for that. All right. So, Excellency, uh, what do you do in your free time apart from the cultural and bilateral meetings? Uh, I would like to focus on that uh, no better than Pakistan. As I told you that, uh, since I got here, I, I was surprised about a lot of things. So, uh, uh, first of all, I'm learning, try to learn the Urdu. So okay. you know, when, the, uh, when I uh, learned that uh, Urdu, uh, I, I know that oh, you know, uh, the uh, order of the sentence, I mean that the subject and uh, objective and verb is the same in Korean language okay. here. Normally, uh, uh, American language, uh, English uh, is uh, you know, subject and verb and object. Uh, but the Korean and Urdu, same, uh, subject object and verb. Oh, so, wow. Uh, in the uh, the language is pretty, pretty much different. Yeah, whenever I, uh, uh, not so different from Korea, Urdu is... Uh, it's similar. Uh, yeah, many, many things, not exactly the same, but many things similar. So whenever I have free time, I uh, would like to learn more about uh, this country. Uh, so one of the uh, activities uh, learning Urdu, but not many times. <laughs> it's difficult to Urdu. All and right. uh, I met um, many Pakistani people, talk to each other, and I feel that the culture of Pakistan, uh, so uh, that's the, my uh, most uh, priority when I have the, the free time or first time. All right. Now it's time to take a short break. We will be right back. Stay with us. Welcome back. I'm here in conversation with South Korean Ambassador. So, Excellency, what do you like most about the Islamabad? Oh, Islamabad uh, is a, uh, a little uh, artificially constructed uh, city. Uh, so, uh, uh, sometimes I feel very comfortable uh, to live here because all the good possibilities for the foreigners uh, but sometimes even that uh, uh, artificially constructed as a capital of this country, but I can feel that uh, many Pakistani cultural things and real Pakistani things, so 
both, uh, I mean that uh, artificial one and the traditional coexist in as Islamabad. So basically, I like most uh, Islamabad than the Lahore and Peshawar. Okay. Mm. So is there any similarity between Seoul and Islamabad? The Seoul is uh, uh, something like Lahore. Okay. Uh, because the historically uh, built uh, country, but uh, we add that, that the new one. Uh, new cities, so uh, Seoul is uh, a little uh, uh, similar to Islamabad and Lahore. It's a mixed one. Okay, mm. so I mean, is your family liking mm. the environment here? Yeah, because that, uh, as I told that uh, this country has uh, also uh, uh, weather condition is similar. Four seasons uh, here, uh, Korea is, has four seasons. Even the uh, summertime. They say that uh, temperature too high, but uh, low humidity. So, better than Korea. You know, in summertime, Korea temperature is not uh, over the 40 degrees, All but right. humidity always 90 percent and 80 percent. So, it's too humid and hot. But here, still, monsoon season. They say not uh, does not start yet. So, I feel very good and comfortable even in the. Uh, uh, summer uh, season right. here. My family was the same. Okay. So uh, have you managed to make any Pakistani friends here or did you get a chance to attend any of the Pakistani occasions? You know, uh, I'm very busy to uh, uh, answer that uh, all the uh, invitation from Pakistani people. So uh, my wife right now uh, tell me that you don't go uh, every e e invitation. So because that I have uh, four or five uh, uh, occasions uh, every day to meet right. the Pakistani people. So my wife uh, worry about the, my health system. But uh, when I, whenever I meet the Pakistani people, I get more stronger, more, more uh, relaxed. So uh, I have many uh, opportunities. So Pakistani people, they are very kind and very friendly to invite right. me. So I met lots of uh, Pakistani people you know okay so I mean Pakistani mangoes are famous around the globe so mm. how what do you think about them like did you get a chance to try them yeah actually I tried the several not several times many times right now Pakistani mango you know that I traveled a lot everywhere I can compare compare three countries Mangoes, one from Brazil, All right. one from Cameroon, one from Pakistan. Uh, let me uh, talk about that. Uh, in terms of size, uh, Brazil uh, mango is the uh, biggest, uh, but uh, you know, uh, taste is uh, worse than the uh, Pakistani one. Okay. You know, in terms of uh, taste, Cameroon one is uh, a little bit similar, but very small. And the quality is bad, <laughs> so I, they say that uh, I also I I know that my experience of Pakistani mango is the world best. Oh wow, mm -hmm. it's very interesting to know about this. Mm -hmm. So, do you think, Excellency, that mm -hmm. there are any cultural similarities between the two countries? The most uh, similarity is the uh, family-centered uh, culture. You know, in Korea also. Uh, family is first in every uh, occasion, uh, but the young people, they don't like that, but still uh, they uh, feel that the family is the more important in their uh, daily lives. And also uh, Korean people respect to the uh, elders. All right. Um, we try to do very kind to uh, guests and foreigners, uh, but the uh, Pakistani people too, uh, too general, too kind <laughs> to <laughs> foreigners and guests. I feel like this. So there are uh, many. E e so the family and... culture is same as here in Pakistan, yeah. and it's same back home in Korea yeah. also. Okay. So Excellency, K-pop is becoming very mm -hmm. famous mm -hmm. uh, among the youngsters mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. So what step is your country taking to promote the cultural uh, exchange between the two countries? Oh, actually, e e e we had uh, uh, we I have a uh, Korean embassy have some program to promote uh, Korean pop culture 
so, uh, tomorrow we'll have some kind of event. All right. Uh, but uh, after that, we uh, disseminate uh, press release for that. Uh, I was surprised that the many uh, Pakistani young people like the BTS yeah. and Korean K-pop. So uh, when we uh, uh, put on the uh, post uh, on YouTube and SNS, uh, to, help, uh, to hold that kind of a K-pop um, contest, more than 200,000 Pakistani young men um, see that the, uh, the uh, uh, post, SNS post, and more than 30 uh, uh, teams they send their uh, uh, their play uh, music play process. So. I was uh, surprised that uh, even that the Pakistani young people, they knew, uh, they know a lot of the K-pop. So uh, that's one of my uh, plan that uh, we uh, have uh, some kind of that kind of occasion with the Pakistani young people, and also that uh, I need uh, to share that the Pakistani uh, music with the Korean people. That's one of my uh, priority here. Okay, Excellency, mm. as Korean series and dramas are very famous among the youth here, mm. uh, is the Pakistani dramas or series are famous back home also? Uh, it's up to that uh, method. Uh, right now, I see that the Pakistani drama here, some Pakistani drama in Urdu, uh, I, can, I, I don't understand what they are saying, All right. but uh, just the scene, very interesting. Okay. Uh, so one of the things is about some couple the loving uh, love, love the bank or something, but very interesting. Even though I cannot understand, I just uh, understand uh, Miranam ja ja ja. Okay. I just uh, understand one right. uh, sentence, but even though that uh, uh, the Pakistani drama is very, uh, interesting to Korean people, but the method, I mean that the Korean drama can deliver to your country through the Netflix and through the SNS in many and satellite system, but we don't have any method to see that Pakistani drama. So okay. that's the, the, the only one problem. If, that, if we see that the Pakistani drama, there are many Korean people like uh, that drama, like me. Okay, that's mm -hmm. so interesting. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ambassador, thank you so much for your time, and I'm hoping that you enjoy your stay here in Pakistan. Well, that's all for now. I will be coming up with new episode of Visitor's Book next week. You can follow us on our social media handles at indus.news. It's a goodbye for now. Mm -hmm.